and this week marks 100 years since the 1921 Tulsa race massacre on May the 31st and June the 1st of 1921. Uh, an armed white mob attacked and destroyed the all-black district of Greenwood, known as Black Wall Street, leaving 40 square blocks in ruins and nearly 10,000 people homeless. Uh, a century later, it remains one of the worst episodes of racial violence in United States history. Now, joining us on the phone is um, Annalisa Brunner. Uh, she is the great-granddaughter of Tulsa race massacre survivor Mary Jones Parrish. Uh, Annalisa, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Uh, thank you for calling in. Uh, we're happy to have you this morning, and you actually been visiting Tulsa for events surrounding the 100-year commemoration. Uh, so we thank you for joining us this morning because we know you're running. Uh, so, you know, you didn't know about this massacre of, you know, this massacre and destruction of Black Wall Street until you were grown. Tell us how you learned about this tragedy and, you know, your family connection to it. Sure thing. I have been living in Washington, D.C. for about 10 years, but every year I would go home to visit my dad and my folks who were still in San Francisco. Um, I went out that year, uh, 93, 94, over the Christmas holiday. Uh, my dad takes me aside when we're having a good time, gathered with family and so forth, takes me into his room and says, uh, Lisa, I, I, I need to show you something. I have something for you. So he goes over to his papers uh, pulls out a manila envelope, and from within, he pulls a small red book out. Uh, it is uh, cloth-bound, a little bit worn around the edges, and there's gold lettering on the outside. Events of the Tulsa Disaster by Mrs. Mary E. Jones Parrish. He said, this is a book that your great-grandmother wrote, and I want you to take it and see what you can do with it because you are now the matriarch of the family. I was mm. 34 years old. It was a charge that he gave me. The first time I knew that my great-grandmother was an author and that she had lived through this disaster, but most important, it was the first time I ever even learned of this massacre. So mm. it was a heavy moment, as you can well uh, uh, um, imagine. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes. Well, yesterday, um, uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but uh, yeah, yesterday okay. President Joe Biden became the first president in history to commemorate the Tulsa race massacre. How did you feel listening to his speech? I was gratified that he came here to Tulsa. Uh, mm -hmm. It is an important time in the history of our country as we work to defend democracy, basically, against the forces of mob violence and mob rule, the same uh, as were uh, rampant 100 years ago, uh, those who uh, stormed our own capital in January of this year, who were seeking to overturn the will of the people who had elected Joe Biden to office, as though they were operating outside of the legal limits, and if their aims were not met, they would resort to violence. This is what happened in Tulsa. So it was important for him to be here and for him to talk about the racial wealth gap and uh, the uh, push for equity and justice and uh, equality of opportunity. Absolutely. And I want to talk about your great grandmother a little bit more, Miss Mary Joan Jones Parrish, who historians say is first and possibly the only comprehensive first-person account of this event. So the book was published back in 1923, but has now been reissued. Can you please tell us about it and where can people find it? Absolutely. The new title of the book is called The Nation Must Awake, My Witness to the Tulsa Race Massacre of 1921, again by Mary E. Jones Parrish. The book in its original form has been folded into this volume. I have prepared and was uh, invited by Trinity University Press to write the afterword and the forward and introduction are written by the late John Hope Franklin and uh, Scott Ellsworth. Uh, Scott Ellsworth is the pre preeminent scholar who has worked on this issue since 1978. Uh, his first book on, on the Tulsa Race Massacre coming out in 1982. And he has credited my great-grandmother with providing him with the foundation, the very anchor of his scholarship uh, with her volume. So this is a very special uh, book. It is available at TulsaBook.com. That is 
TulsaBook.com, and we are in our third or fourth run already. Wow. So, Ms. Ms. Bruner, now you're amongst uh, hundreds of Greenwood descendants and a few remaining survivors that's pushing for cash reparations. So what does that look like and where do things stand with getting that accomplished? Well, it's a complicated issue uh, on one hand. And on the other hand, it's a very simple issue. No one was ever brought to justice for this. Insurance companies shirked their responsibilities and no one who was wounded or killed or suffered economic loss has ever seen justice. As we know, Mother Viola Fletcher, Mother Randall, and uh, Father Van Ellis went before the halls of Congress to demand reparations to be uh, given to them uh, because justice, as we know, was never served. And uh, one doesn't like to think about it, but these people are over 100 years old. Mm. And for them to continue to live with the insecurity uh, of never having been issued an apology, even an acknowledgement of what they endured, uh, it just cannot be tolerated. So, yes, I do believe in cash reparations for the descendants, but most important for the remaining survivors, they should be paid immediately. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, just to throw this in there, I'm, I'm really interested because I've been to Tulsa a few times uh, uh, to see what they, uh, that mass uh, grave uh, was supposed to be uncovered uh, over that, that, if I'm not mistaken, the baseball field is is now um, over, and I'm, I'm I just want to want them to peel back the layers and get some uh, some more information and some closure and some reparations for the family. Anna Lee uh, Brunner, thank you so much for carrying on your great grandmother's legacy. Uh, the book is called "The Nation Must Awake." Y'all make sure y'all pick that up. My witness to the Tulsa, my witness to the Tulsa race massacre of 1921 by Mary Jones Parish. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning. We really appreciate you. God bless you. God bless your life and your family. God bless you, and thank you for having me.